What's up, Nets fans? What's up, Nets fans? It's your man, Mizzle. I'm here breaking down another Nets game, and unfortunately, oh, man. Unfortunately, I'm breaking down a loss this time. We've been winning. You can't win all of them, right? You can't win every day. You got win. You know, you got win most of them. And you gonna do some. Last night, I don't think we were supposed to lose the way that we lost um, in that type of fashion. I'm gonna get right into it. Uh, Kyrie was back. We played the Raptors at the Barclays, as you guys can see. Look at that new court. First of all, let's. Let's comment on this new court. This is nice. What is that? Elvin, that is nice. But anyway, that court is great. Um, Kyrie came back. Kyrie was looking a little rusty in the beginning. He hit the first shot. He hit his first shot. I don't know if anybody seen that little move. And he was spinning on people, doing stop and go. So him and Kyrie in the back court. Oh Lord, I. I'm excited to see that, but let's 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 continue to talk about the game. So Kyrie, he looked rusty, man. In the beginning, in the first half, Kyrie was rusty. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I was laughing at most of the stuff that he was doing because I know that's not Kyrie. I was with a couple of friends, and we all just said he was Shaq to Kyrie. Kyrie, you gotta keep it 100. Everybody know what Shaq is, but he was Shaq in the beginning. And um, I noticed in the beginning, Siakam was taking a free throw, and the Brooklyn fans was yelling, overrated. What was that about? I wanted to know, like, I'm, I'm listening, and I'm like, why, 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 are, we, why are we getting at Siakam right now? It's preseason. I guess we was hype. I guess we was, uh, but Siakam is not overrated. Brooklyn Nuts fans. I don't know what kind of fans was in the Barclays last night. Look, man, don't do that. Y'all can be in the All-Star yet. You know what I mean? Cut it out. Y'all need to be quiet. Um, Nuwaba, he looked great. Oh, my God, I'm glad. He's such a good pickup, man. I love Nuwaba. He was doing, he was playing some excellent defense. We, we were clicking in the first quarter. We were clicking, clicking. Everything was looking good. I think at the end of the first quarter, it was 28-28. And then... I don't know what kind of defense that was. I don't know. At some point there was a there was a miscommunication where somebody just went straight to the hole. That was two up there. 46 points. Yes, that that team, the Raptors, without Kawhi, without the Rosen, whoever you wanna, without Vince Carter, who was lighting it up in New York the other day, uh they put up 46 points and lead Yakum. Uh, 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 uh. What's this guy? OG Anunobi. Uh, I, I hope I said your name right. He's been working. He's been working on that shot. Watch him. He's been working. That shot is uh, legit. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, they scored 46 on us. We, they killed us. They drained threes. And that's when the barrage started really like... The other the other quarters, I think we, we held up. The other, uh, if you see the breakdown, it was a very close... I think... We won the other quarters. The first quarter we tied. Third quarter we won that quarter. Fourth quarter we won that quarter as well. And in the fourth quarter, um, uh, Kenny was just playing some rotational guys and some guys he's trying to take a last look at, like uh, uh, Claxton. We saw Nick Claxton sighting. Uh, uh, we saw Musa. My man, Musa. Man, we could have used Musa earlier in the game, uh, Kenny, Coach Kenny, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, it's preseason. We're not gonna put a lot of stock into uh, the loss. The loss, I think, uh, could be attributed to they shot the lights out. Splash, remember, we were splashing them in China, remember? Splash, splash, that was us. Karma came back for us, cause they splashed on us, but. The rest of the game, Kyrie had a strong third quarter. He came back, he stopped Shaq, and I don't know if they had a conversation back there. Um, and then, like I said, we went we went to the deep bench. Um, Pinson was getting some minutes. Musa was getting some minutes. Claxton was getting some minutes. Um, I think they cut it to about 13 or 11, and we just was never able to get over that hump. We were never able to get over that hump. Uh, they were shooting lights out. They were just shooting lights out, man. So that was pretty much how the game went. You know, you win some, you lose some. That one, I'm not gonna put too much stock in it because they, they shot a ridiculous percentage, which we're gonna get into when we get into the numbers. And that's about it, man. It, it looked good. Uh, guys looked good last night. Karras looked good. 
Uh, Joey Buckets, we need you, we need you, we need you hitting those shots. You led the league in threes last year. The playoffs was rough. Maybe bring up the playoffs. You want to do that. But we need you to hit those shots. You know, it's kind of the He got you on a couple. Uh, you know, I'm not going to talk too, too crazy. Then, lady, it was rough, man. It was rough, man. I'll tell you how rough the next step. Uh, you know, because I am unbiased here. And Woody is one of my favorite players on the Nets. But, this is an unbiased show. You know what I mean? So, uh, that's pretty much it, man. Let's get into the Hooper of the Night. Said, Hooper of the Night. It was none other than Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving, although he had a little rough stretch starting it out, he was able to bounce back nicely and have a pretty decent game in very limited minutes. Um, not that limited since he played the most minutes. <laughs> he played the most minutes out of everybody on the Nets, but you know what I mean, like 25 minutes. He's not going to be seeing 25 minutes when we actually start the games. So he had 19 solid points. Kyrie Irving had 19 points. Um, he also grabbed three boards, four assists, two steals. Uh, you know, he was a minus 10. Once again, I don't know how, how, how to configure those things, to tell you the truth, plus minuses. But, you know, I, I, I could, I could kind of see the minus 10 because there were some instances where Kyrie was kind of not really in sync with the team. But then, like I said, by third quarter, he got it together. He actually had the best numbers of the game. Um, was there an honorable mention? Uh, no, no, no honorable mention. No honorable mention. Not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. We're going to get into the waste man, but I'm reluctantly saying he was a waste man. He still scored 13 points, but he was a minus 16. Uh, all right, I'll just say it, babe. Did Witty, my G, you got waste man. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're waste man of the night. Did Witty, my G. He was a. Uh, he scored 13 points at least. He was a minus 16. That sucks. Uh, you had four assists. You had two rebounds, which is nice. Um, let's see what else you did here. Uh, it's it's that shooting percentage, man. That's why you got it. Three for 14. In 18 minutes, two rebounds, like I said, four assists, 13 points, but three for 14. Mm. You wasn't a complete waste in Witty because you are my G, but you got an off game today. Let's just say that. So, waste man, I'm not going to spend too much time because it's Dim Witty. I already know how I feel about my G. Dim Witty, do not say the. Do not say Dim Witty without the my G. So, you have to say Dim Witty, my G. Okay? So. You're still my G, but you're a waste man tonight. I'm sorry. All right, right now we're going to get into the keys and observations of the game. Things that we thought about, things that we noticed, things that made us go, hmm, I noticed that. Hmm, let me talk about this. Things that made us go like, huh, oh, why? Why did he do this? What, 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 who, who, what, where? Listen, keys and observations. All right, let's check them out. They didn't, I noticed that we played the Raptors last night and there was not one Rondé Hollis Jefferson signing. I was excited to see him come back to the bar play, see what he did. They played a lot of rotational players at the end and not one of them was Rondé. Uh, please, let me know in the comments because I kind of skimmed through the end. I got to keep it honest with you guys after he was getting smacked. I just didn't want to see anymore. I, I had enough torch. I knew I had to talk about the game, so I I, I I watched as much as I could, but I didn't see any Rondé Hollis Jefferson. Hmm. And I heard some murmurs, 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 reports, reports, reports about Rondé Hollis Jefferson losing favor with Nick Nurse, not only him, but Stanley Johnson, and they might not have any minutes this upcoming season. Hmm, maybe you guys might want to give them back to us. We can use them in some sort of way. I love Rondé. Rondé was great for us. Uh, he's limited in some areas offensively, but, you know, defensively, and he's just a dog. You know what I mean? <clears throat> he's just a dog. He'll work hard. I like hard workers, and that's what the Nets were about last year, and that's what we will continue to be about. 
And what else did I notice? Hmm, I noticed we lost yesterday, but why did we lose? Remember, I was alluded to this earlier. It's not like, you know, we got killed. Uh, we just didn't want to play defense. That perimeter defense was lacking. That perimeter defense was lacking. I'll say that. It was lacking. It wasn't bad, but it was lacking. Lacking. Um, however, dude, like, when, when they shoot 24 threes, when a, another team shoots 24 threes at 51%, not too many teams are gonna win that game. Simple and plain. We do that to teams a lot. We don't shoot 51 now. And we don't always shoot 24 threes, but we let them lose. We knock them down. We knock them down. We let them lose. And they shot 24 of them drums at a 51% rate. So more than half their shots, just by 1%, just by 1%, we're going. <laughs> Three pointers. 24. All right, I mean, it was pretty simple. Marcus Saul was setting up. I think they got some kid named, what? Let me see, what, what's his name? Some kid named Mike Thomas at three or something like that. Horrible, who is Mike Thomas? I don't even know who that is. Um, anyway, uh, the ball movement, pace and space, and depth are still some of the strongest things for the net, Nets team. Um, Kyrie, you saw him moving the ball. He was chucked a little bit. No, I ain't gonna front you. Shot seven for 17. Um, but he was moving the ball, he was moving the ball nicely. Uh, everybody else moving the ball nicely. Spacing is still out there. Terry on Prince was still lights out. Terry on Prince, I believe, shot more than 50% during this preseason stretch. Terry on, you are here. I'm glad you're here in Brooklyn because you are splash. Lights out, I like it. Um, you with Joe Harris, with, with the other guys that we got that could shoot, that's gonna really, really, really help us out. Uh, Musa, he looks like he's ready in year two. Something I see for the fourth, he looks like he's ready. Spent a lot of time in the G League, so did Theo. But Musa, he looks like a player. He looks like a player. I hope he could get some rotational minutes. I mean, we have a whole bunch of people at that position already, which I'm gonna get to. Uh, Get back to Torreon with that. Uh, yeah, uh, Coach Kenny, see if you find some minutes for your boy Musa. He's smooth. See if you find some minutes for him. And I'm getting back to Torreon first. What I don't like that I'm seeing with the, the Nets that they do like to play a lot of small ball. But when you have a Baca who's a pretty mobile big, I don't think you should be playing small ball too much. If you play small ball, find somebody that can guard a, a Baca, at least, right? Because, uh, sorry, sorry. And you, listen, in, in fairness to you, you shouldn't be guarding a Baca, man. You're 6'7", officially. You should not be guarding a Baca. You understand what I'm saying? So, sorry, uh, Kenny, uh, Coach Kenny, we got to do something with that, like, Torreon Prince cannot start at the four when Abaka, a guy like Abaka is at the four. When you see Derek Favors is at the four, do not start Torreon Prince at the four. You understand what I mean? Like, uh, you're the coach, I'm just a fan, but I'd like to think I know what I'm saying right now. You know what I mean, Coach Kenny? I know you want to spread it, but the guy who's playing that four spot, he's supposed to be able to guard whatever four they put. You, they got smaller fours this all day. I don't, I don't care. They go small, turn you on up. I love what you do. I love this positionless thing that, that, that's been going on with basketball. Believe it or not, Danny Ainge started that small ball back in the day. I mean, I'm sure there's some innovators beyond. We'll talk about that another time. But I remember Danny Ainge, as I was coming up, when he used to be the coach of the Phoenix Suns, he used to have a lot of small ball. He had uh, J.C. Kidd, uh, uh, Kevin Johnson and I believe Penny Hardaway at the same time playing small ball. Penny Hardaway is six seven. Uh, you know, back then six seven. Who knows what he is officially? But you know, he used to play that three guard lineup, and that was uh, kind of innovative back then. But anyway, it's all about the Nets. I love how Coach Kenny. I love during halftime how they were showing how um, Coach Kenny gets down in practice. I love that. I love the fact that the players are so receptive to him. Cause guess what? He's from Long Island. He's one of us. I'm from Brooklyn, but still one of us, New Yorker. And 
I like um I like his attitude and I like the progression he's had. From the first I used to say, man, you give this guy some personnel, like the right personnel, he'll be able to know what to do. Because I like his system. I like his system. Defensive schemes, offensively, you're a great coach, Kenny. You're a great coach, Kenny. But let's uh let's just chill out. I know it's preseason. I know you got some 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 tricks up your sleeve. I'm not panicking because I trust you. But shout out to Coach Kenny. I feel like we, we have to touch on that. Now, four season pre oh, four season. I wish I was at four season. Four preseason games are in the books. We are ready for the real thing. Yes, on Wednesday, that is the next game. We play those Timberwolves. They come into Brooklyn, and I believe, I believe we owe them one. I believe we owe them one from last year. So. The Timberwolves, Carl Anthony Towns, and the Timberwolves come into Brooklyn, and they do it on th no Wednesday. I believe it's at 7:30. Let me just double check that because I do not like giving you guys false information. All right, let's just double check. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I should have checked this before I did this, thing, but it's okay. Power editing. I'll edit all of this out anyway. Uh, yes, uh, let's see, let's see. Yes, it's on 10-23, next game is on 10-23, that's Wednesday, 7.30 Eastern Time at the Barclays. Nets versus the Timberwolves, Timberwolves versus the Nets, can't wait till it starts. Are we going to get that W? Am I going to be talking about a W? Who knows? We don't know. We don't know. Only thing we do know is that we are going to be tuned in. Only thing that we do know is we go far. Go Brooklyn! Go Brooklyn! Only thing we do know is Wednesday 7.30 we're going to be looking for our first win. How about that? Right? What do you guys think? Next fans, what do you think? You gonna win it or not? Let me know in the comments. You guys uh, you guys engage with me on, on Instagram. Don't forget to follow me at BK Nets Work. That's at symbol BK Nets Work. It's right there anyway. I think somewhere. I don't know. I edited it someplace. You see, it says it. At BK Network, don't forget to follow us. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm about to leave. Oh, they put Wu Tang on. I spent too much time. It's your man Mizzle. I'm out for Biggie. For everybody in Brooklyn. Brooklyn.